beginning at the center of our mat. Let the arms hang heavy. Close our eyes. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale the arms out to the sides and up. Bring the palms together. Exhale the hands to heart center. And we'll lower to the knees. Take the hands down for support. Let the forehead lightly touch the ground. Taking a moment to embody humility, respect, and build these qualities on a foundation of sincerity, of that truth that rests within you. We can inhale and stand back up. Reach the arms out to the sides and up, palms together. Exhale the thumbs to heart center. Keep the eyes closed. Just begin to rock a little bit from heel to toe. Feel for yourself the flow that is natural for your body this morning. And if it doesn't feel natural, slow the breath, slow the movement, maybe even be still. Because what we want more than anything is to feel these two feet, to feel them as they touch upon the earth, to feel them as they engage and hold us up. And then root down through the feet, spread out through the toes. We're going to begin with preparatory pranayama. So first things first, inhale the arms up. Interlace your fingers overhead. Turn your palms up. Catch the index fingers with your thumbs. Pull the arms back. Lift high up onto the toes. Reach for the ceiling. Then bring the heels down. Face forward. Take a breath in. And then exhale. Reach to your left. Inhale up. Exhale to your right. Inhale up. And then exhale the arms down by your sides. Inhale, arms out to the sides and up. Hold your breath. Rub your ribcage with your palms. And rub the top, sides, back, bottom. Exhale, let it go. Arms up, inhale. Hold your breath. Beat with your palms. Exhale, inhale, contract your fingers, beat with your fingertips while holding the breath, while holding the breath. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, arms up, swing your arms forward, big circles, holding the breath, but inhale a little bit more, more. More, exhale, let it go. Arms out to the sides and up, inhale. Hold the breath, swing the arms backwards, big circle. Inhale, more, more, more. Drop the arms, exhale. And bend the knees, you can open the eyes at first, take the hands to the thighs. And we're gonna tilt the pelvis forward, inhale, lift the chin and chest, look up. Now on exhale, blow out through the mouth with stairs. <laughs> Inhale again, tilt the pelvis forward, lift the chin. Exhale, round the spine, blow out through the mouth. <laughs> Inhale last time. Inhale, arms up, hands to heart center, exhale, and we'll step to the front of our mat, bring our big toes together, reach the arms up, inhale, turn that right palm forward, thumb and fist, catch the wrist, exhale, left, inhale up, switch the grip, left palm forward, thumb and fist, exhale, right, inhale up, feet step beneath the hips, drop the arms. Take the thumbs either side of the sacrum. Let's root down through the feet. Roll toward the big toes. Start to press the hips forward, chin to chest, chest to chin. Then inhale, lift the chin, look up. Exhale, hips more forward. Inhale, we rise, arms up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Keep the knees really soft, upper body relaxed. Right leg slides back. Drop the right knee, inhale, look up. Left leg back, down dog, exhale. Rock forward, holding the breath, drop knees, chest, chin down, inhale through, cobra, exhale, let it go, push up, press back, 
Right foot steps forward, inhale, dropping left knee, look up. Left foot forward, exhale. Arms forward and up, inhale. Hands to heart center, exhale. Arms out to the sides and up, feet together. Left palm forward, thumb and fist, catch the wrist, pull right. Inhale up. Right palm forward, thumb and fist, pull left. Inhale up. Move the feet beneath the hips, drop the arms. Thumbs either side of the sacrum, shoulders roll back, chest to chin, chin to chest, root down through the feet. Hips move more forward than inhale, chin lift. Exhale, head back. Inhale, rise, arms up. Exhale, fold, keep the knees soft. Left leg steps back, drop the knee, look up, inhale. Right foot back, exhale. Rock forward, drop knee, chest, chin down. Inhale through. Exhale, let it go. Push up, press back. Left foot forward, drop that right knee, inhale, look up. Right foot forward, exhale. Arms forward and up, inhale. Hands to heart center, exhale. Arms out to the sides and up, inhale, move the feet beneath your hips, exhale, fold all the way down. Keep your knees as soft as you need to. Slide the palms face up beneath the fronts of the feet. Press the toes into the creases of your wrists. Pull against the feet, inhale, look forward. Exhale, pull down, drop your head, relax your neck. Knees can be deeply, deeply bent. Keep rolling toward the big toe knuckle again. That first knuckle is a big toe. Keep rolling toward it. Breath in, breath out. One more. Now pull against the feet, inhale, look forward. Fingertips to the floor, exhale. We're gonna step that right leg back. High lunge, reach the arms up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, just the arms halfway out of the sides. Palms face down, thumbs and fists. Sink into that left knee, firm up the right thigh. Feel that right knee lift. Then pull the arms back, lift the chin, look up. Just three cycles of breath. So find your stability here. Breath in, breath out. Two more. Last one. Inhale, arms up. Both hands come down. Frame the left foot. Now walk your hands to your right foot at the back of the mat. And we're going to come up into a high lunge on the right leg. Arms up. But then hands to heart center, lean forward. And draw left heel to left buttock. Uparga, humsasana. Left heel to left buttock. Right knee is still bent. Left leg is in that extension, actively pushing that heel up toward the ceiling. Left leg back behind us. Inhale, arms up, deep breath in. Both hands come down, frame that right foot. Step back into plank, lower down. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, inhale, look up. Lower toward the ground, exhale, push up, press back. Downward facing dog. Left leg will lift, inhale. Left knee in toward the nose or forehead, exhale. Inhale up. Again, exhale. Inhale up. Last time, exhale. Inhale up. And then left foot will step between the hands. Drop the right knee down. Inhale, look up. Straighten both legs, look back. Bend both legs, look up, inhale. Straighten both legs, look back. So let's do this one more time. Bend and look up. Straighten, look back, but hold that straight position. Stepping that right foot in. And something that you can work on is binding that right leg. So if you step it in a little bit closer, your feet are still on two parallel lines, you can reach both hands back, interlace the fingers across that back of the right calf, and pull. Feel right hip draw forward, left hip draw back, breath in, breath out, one more. Release the binding of the right leg, both hands down, crawl to your right foot at the front of the mat, and as soon as you get to the right foot, plant the hands, 
Take that right leg back and up. Bend the knee, open the hip. Kick it straight, drop it down, and do the same thing with your left leg. Same thing, left leg up, bend the knee, open the hip. Bring it back, drop it down. And now add any little bit of additional movement, maybe shifting the hips side to side, walking out the hands even, lifting one hand, lifting the other. And we're gonna make our first transition to the front of the mat. So finish up your movement. And only when you feel ready for it, we'll set the feet together, look at the hands, Middle fingers point forward. Now, I always teach you guys the heel kick to the bum, but something that some of you are ready for, and I know this, is not the heel kick to the bum, but the pike of the legs up. So either look at your hands and heel kick the bum a few times, or look at the hands, lift high up onto the toes, lean forward, bend the knees a little, and try to lift the legs up at the same time straight. And it's okay if you've got to warm it up. We will eventually land to the front of the mat. This will take practice. So if this is your first time trying two legs straight at the same time, no worries, we'll do it more than once. Feet together at the front of your mat, sit back at Katasana, lift those arms up, inhale. Exhale back down. Left leg will step back. Find your high lunge, nice, stable, strong base. Arms out to the sides and up, inhale. Arms halfway out to the side, palms face down, thumbs and fists, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the chin with up. Keep feeling that left thigh firm because the tendency is to let the left hip kind of droop and it droops from the heel all the way to the hip. So if you push the heel back, pull a little forward, firm up that left thigh, firm up the left buttock, then arms up, inhale, both hands down, exhale, crawl to your left foot, back of the mat, Find high lunge in your left leg, arms up, hands to heart center, lean forward, right heel to right buttock. Flex the toes, lift that right leg a little higher, it's that active extension of the right leg. All right leg slowly back behind you, arms up, inhale. Both hands will come down, exhale. Step back into plank. Lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale toward the ground, push up, press back, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg into the air, right leg up. Right knee in toward the nose or forehead, round in. Inhale up, two more. Inhale up, last time. Inhale up. And then step that right foot between the hands. And we'll drop the left knee down. Lift the chin, look up, inhale. Straighten both legs, exhale. Bend and inhale. Straighten and exhale. One more. Bend, inhale. Straighten, exhale, and we'll hold static. You know you can tighten up that stance. We did so before. You also have the option to work on that bind. And you can step the left foot even closer in to do that. Reaching both hands back and try to grab the calf. This doesn't change the fact that right hip is still pulling up and back. Left hip is still pulling down and forward. Release the hand, crawl to your left foot at the front of the mat, and as soon as you're facing the left foot at the front of the mat, hands flat, left leg back and up, inhale, bend the knee, open the hip, lift it back up, drop it down, right leg up, bend the knee, open the hip, bring it back down. And again, you can add little bits of movement from here. So this is that last time where we're really going to be free with this downward facing dog. So if you want to move around, move around. If you'd rather be still, be still and think of the hips lifting way up above the shoulders. 
feel that lift as if someone were pushing on them. We are our best adjusters, our best assisters, meaning that if we can just feel the engagement and guide our students to do the same, guide them to feel what they need, this will last them a lifetime versus someone just pushing on their back and doing it for them. All right, find stillness, bring the feet together, look at the hands. If you're working on heel kicking, heel kick. If you're working on the pike, the grip is the same, the breath is the same. Inhale high onto the toes, exhale forward, bend the knees a little, and then exhale, lift off. With two legs, it's a lot easier to overcorrect, or I should say, overemphasize the, the lift off. So just be mindful of that. We'll look forward when we get to the front of the mat. Fold and let it go. Feet together. Sit back at Katasana. Lift those arms up. Inhale. And then rise tall. Feet beneath the hips. Hands to heart center. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Reach the arms out to the sides and up. Inhale. And on your exhale, reach those hands forward. As we reach the hands forward, we're going to drop the hips down. And we're going to keep dropping the hips down. Keep dropping. And now hips down, legs up, arms reach forward. Arms reach forward. So hold here for a breath. Inhale. Exhale, grab the calf. If you can, walk the hands toward the knife edges of the feet. Maybe even catch the heels. All right, now start to slowly pull those legs in toward your body. Slowly pull the legs. It does help to get the forearms behind the calf. Then roll forehead toward the shin. Inhale, start to release. Bend the knee. Plant the feet down. Take the hands back behind you, fingertips point towards your feet. Let's lift those hips up, deep breath in. On your exhale, bring the hips between the hands. Lift your left leg. Now left leg down, inhale, lift your hips. Let's do that again. Exhale through, lift your right. Right leg down, inhale, lift your hips, and then sit, exhale. Hold behind the thighs and lower back. Pull the knees in towards your torso, point your toes. Big toes are going to stay together, but knees might separate a little bit here in a moment. Reach the hands straight up into the air, palms face the ceiling though. Imagine pushing out through the arms, but at the same time, throwing shoulders down from your ears and pressing shoulder blades into the floor. Now on your next exhale, I need you to keep that same engagement through the shoulder girdle, but lift and crunch in toward the knees, knees to the backs of the arms. Then inhale, relax. Exhale, lift. Inhale, relax. Exhale, lift. Inhale, relax. Exhale, lift. Three more. Exhale, lift. Two. Exhale, lift. Last one. Exhale, lift. Now hold it. Hold it. Big toes are still together. Knees are into the backs of the arms. Hands are imaginarily pushing into the ceiling and then let it go. Legs down on the mat, arms over your head. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Thighs pull in toward the torso. We're gonna rock back and forth three times. On the third time, we're gonna take crow and fly back. Pull behind the thighs, rock over to a seat first, just to the seat, and then rock back. Now rock forward to the feet, and then rock back. Rock forward to the feet and the hands come into crow, knees into the backs of the arms, look forward, lead forward, feet may or may not lift today. On your next exhale, fly it back, low push up. Inhale, upward facing dog, look up. Lower toward the ground, look forward, push up, press back, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, step the feet, one footprint closer to your hands, just one. Keep your left hand on the floor, reach your right hand straight back, hold your right calf. Or slide the hand toward the heel and pull. Right shoulder to right ear, left shoulder to left leg. Then lift that left foot up. 
as the left foot lifts, hold, breathe, and if you want to add to it, bend the left knee, bring the left knee down so it's in line with the right knee, take your right hand, hold the top of your left foot, and then pull left heel to left buttock. You're going to continually try to lift that left knee up while still pulling left shoulder toward the left leg. Hips as high as you can keep them. And let the foot go first. Right hand down second. As soon as that right hand is down, we're going to go to the other side. So left hand reaches back, grab the calf, slide down to heel. Close the shoulders. Close them. So feel left shoulder pull to left ear, right shoulder pull to right leg. Lift the right leg up. And again, we can bend the right knee. Bring the right knee next to left knee. Hold the top of the right foot with our left hand. Pull right heel to right buttock. Start to release the right leg down. Left hand returns to the ground. And we'll rock forward to plank. As soon as we're in plank though, really press into the hand. We're gonna move our left hand beneath the nose, side plank. Right arm up and over the head, deep breath in. Flex the toes, push into the knife edge of that left foot. Then lower left hip to the floor, exhale. Inhale up. Again, exhale. Inhale up. Step your right foot towards your left hand. Drop both hands. Turn halfway to your left. Turn both feet out equally. And we're going to bend into both knees, reaching the arms out to the sides and up. Once the arms are up, bring the hands together. Exhale them to heart center. Drop the tail. Sit a little deeper. Take a breath in. And straighten your right leg. So left knee will be bent. Now bend the right knee, both knees are bent, straighten left. Bend left, straighten right. Bend right, straighten left. Bend left, straighten right. Bend right and straighten both, arms up. Inhale, two cleansing breaths through the floor, exhale. Inhale up, again exhale. Inhale up, cartwheel to your left foot, back of the mat. Both hands will come down. Take that left leg back and up. Inhale. Left knee to the outside of the left triceps. Exhale. Inhale up. Again, exhale. Inhale up. Last time. Inhale up. Rock forward to plank, left foot down. Left hand beneath the nose, side plank. Right arm up and over the head. Deep breath in. Right arm is reaching. Toes are flexing. Lower down. One. Inhale up. Right foot steps to left hand. Drop both hands. Turn halfway to your left. Turn. Again, both feet out. But we're going to bend into the right knee halfway. Just the right knee halfway. Lift up all the way. Arms open. Palms forward. Thumbs and fists. Bend right elbow. Look over the left hand. Lift the left toes into the air. Three cycles of breath here. Inhale, high lunge left. Arms up. Then right knee forward and up. Open those arms. Palms forward, thumbs and fists. Take the top of the right foot to the back of the left knee. Bend the left knee. Your standing leg should be bent. Bend the right elbow, look over your left hand. Inhale up, arms up, right knee up. Take the right leg back, drop both hands down. Turn halfway to your left. Now turn both feet out equal. We're gonna bend back into that right knee, but as low as we can go, left toes up. And then bend over into the left knee, right toes up. And now crawl to your left foot at the front of the mat. 
And as soon as you're facing that left leg, hands are inside the left foot, drop your right knee down. And we're gonna straighten and bend this left leg a few times. Straighten, bend, straighten, bend. And now let's straighten and hold it. Straighten and hold it. Bend those elbows toward the ground. Palms can be face up if you're all the way down. If you want to go a little deeper than this is providing, slide that left heel to the left corner of the mat. Right leg is still straight back. And we're still inside this left leg. So it's like an Ardha Kumasana. It's like a half turtle pose, except this left arm's not beneath the left leg, which it could be in the future. But let's not do that right now. Just take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. On your next inhale, we'll plant both hands flat. Again, slide that left foot in if it had lengthened out, bend the left knee. And we're gonna turn halfway to our right, halfway to our right. So I'm gonna show this to you from the front of the room. We're gonna bend halfway into the left knee. I will not mirror you, hands beneath the shoulders. Now we're gonna start with flying archer. We're gonna do that one first. And then I'm gonna teach you just a slightly different variation of that. So let's start with hands beneath shoulders. Lean this left knee into the outside of the left arm. Point your left toes to get it nice and high. Then lift left heel to left buttock. Flex the toes, it helps. Lift your right toes into the air and reach that right arm in the direction of your right foot. Place thumb against index fingernail. Attention, and tension. Now drop it all down, foot, hands, everything. Turn the toes in for a moment and hang heavy. Exhale, hang heavy. Relax the neck. Now again, look forward, lengthen the spine. And this is gonna be a variation of that flying archer. So we're again gonna turn the toes out, bend halfway into the left knee, halfway same. And we're gonna step this left foot forward just a little bit. So now your right heel is further back, left heel is closer forward. Take this left arm inside the left leg. Use your left hand, actually push inside that left half, plant the left hand flat. Your left hand should be in line with your right foot in some capacity. All right, push into both hands, point your left toes. Now this time we're gonna kick this left leg forward. And as we kick it forward, it's gonna go a little off to the left side. All right, try to lift your right toes into the air. Now, lift onto the fingertips of your right hand, reach the right hand in the direction of your right leg. Thumb against index fingernail. Release. I hope that found you just a little bit more challenged because I know you guys are getting used to that flying archer. All right, look forward, lengthen, and then turn to your left foot at the front of the mat again. Both hands flat, step back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. One more. Now look at the hands. We'll start with the right arm this time, but I need both forearms to the ground first. So you can drop to the knees if you need to, otherwise hug those elbows in, lower down. Once the elbows are down, hands can move a little closer together. Feet can actually separate a little bit more. Keep your right forearm on the ground, reach left hand to left calf. Push into your left foot, lift your right leg. You again can bend the right knee, grab the top of the right foot with the left hand, pull right heel to right buttock. Please be gentle. Release the right foot. Release the left forearm. And we're gonna shift into the other side. So now left forearm's gonna hold you up, right hand to right calf. Left leg will lift. Stay longer or bend the left knee. You gotta drop it down in order to grab that left foot. Pull left heel to left buttocks. Release the left foot. 
Release the right forearm. Press into both hands. Bring your feet back to hip distance apart. Rock forward into plank. And then right hand beneath the nose, right hand. We're gonna shift into that right arm. Left arm up and over the head, deep breath in. Lower down, exhale. Inhale up. Step your left foot to your right hand. Turn halfway to your right. Turn both feet out. And bend both knees equal. Reach those arms out to the sides and up. Exhale the hands to heart center. We're gonna stay low, straighten your left leg, back through center. Straighten right, back through center. Straighten left, back through center. Straighten right, back through center. Straighten left, back through center. Straighten both and reach the arms up. Two cleansing breaths, sweep the floor, exhale. Inhale up, cartwheel to your right foot, back of the mat. Both hands down, right leg back and up, deep breath in. Right knee to the outside of the right tricep, exhale. Inhale up. Again, exhale. Inhale up. Last time, exhale. Inhale up. And we'll rock forward to plank. Again, right hand beneath the nose, side plank. Left arm up and over the head, deep breath in. We'll lower down, but only once. Exhale down. Inhale up. Left foot to right hand. Turn halfway to your right. Turn both feet out, but we're only going to bend into the left knee halfway. So bend half, open the arms up, torsos upright, thumbs and fists, bend your left elbow, look over your right hand, then lift the right toes into the air. Three full cycles of breath in Archer, down or off, now breath in, and exhale. Inhale, high lunge right, both arms up. I'm gonna draw that left knee forward and up, open the arms. Thumbs and fists, top of the left foot to the back of the right knee, bend the right knee. Bend your left elbow, look over your right hand. Inhale, arms up, left knee up. Take that left leg back, drop the hands down. Turn halfway to your left. Turn both feet out equal. We'll bend into that left knee, right toes up. And then back through center, right toes up. Walk your hands to your right. Both hands inside the right foot. Keep that right foot off to the side. Drop your left knee down to straighten the right leg. And then bend it, straighten, and bend it. Last time, straighten, hold it, and you can bend those elbows down. Palms can be face up. Anytime we let the wrist really last, it's good if we're doing anything on the hands, which obviously we do plenty. Slide that right heel toward the right corner of your mat if you did so on the previous side. Plant both the hands, and we're gonna bend back into this right knee, back into the right knee. And we're gonna lift the left knee and turn halfway to your left again. And we're gonna do that crazy flying archer. But remember, we're gonna do it two ways. So I'm not gonna wear you out in between. Turn both feet out first, bend into the right knee halfway, hands move beneath the shoulders, so you're closer to this right side. Bring your right knee into the outside of the right arm, point your toes at first, but then draw right heel to right buttock. Left toes lift. Left hand reaches in the direction of your left foot. Thumb against index finger now. Then drop it down. Both hands and foot. Turn the toes in. Fold forward. Grab opposite elbows with opposite hands, but go with the awkward forearm in front. So switch it. Whichever forearm's always in front, switch it. Drop your head, relax your neck. Knees can be bent.
Finger hips to the floor, look forward, lengthen. Both feet are turned out again. We're gonna turn them out. Bend into that right knee, same way you did before, but step this right foot forward a little bit. You want them to be off balance, why? Because your right hand is gonna be where your right foot was. So lean forward a little bit more, hips are high in the beginning, right arm inside this right leg, you can actually press the shoulder beneath the knee, right hand down, left hand down. And we'll start to slowly heel to that right foot a little forward, kick it straight, a little off to the side, left toes lift, right toes are pointed, left toes are flexed, reach that left arm in the direction of your left foot, thumb against index, fingernail. Start to let it go, foot down. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And we're gonna walk the hands to our left foot at the front of the mat. As soon as we're facing the left foot, step back into downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, just one. Deep breath out. Look at your hands, you gotta get back to the front of the mat. And I know the arms may be tired, so just be mindful. He'll kick the bum if you need it. Otherwise, work on that pike. Lean forward. Bend the knees a little. Exhale, lift off. Land when you're ready. Look forward, lengthen. Fold and let it go. Feet together. Sit back into this katasana. Lift those arms up. Inhale. Stand tall. Feet beneath the hips, hands to heart center, close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Feel. Feel the intensity. Feel the intention. Intensity is not there so that we might triumph alone. Intensity is there because we are trying to transform. And every time we fall, we think we fail, but every time we fall, the ego itself has to learn to deal. It gets put down. And this is a positive thing, not that the ego itself is negative, but the more inflated it becomes, the more it thinks that its goal is to triumph, the more it must be put back in its place. The goal of the ego is only to protect us. And it is through the ego that we will experience the divine. So we keep it balanced. Arms up, inhale, feet are beneath the hips, Exhale, sit back, reach those hands forward. As the hands reach forward, we're gonna continue sitting, 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 dropping legs up, arms forward. Now this time, instead of grabbing the calves, grab the arches of your feet and take the legs wide. Take the legs wide. And we're gonna take the same opportunity to pull those legs toward us, meanwhile trying to pull the torso between the legs. So notice, think of drawing here. Think of drawing pubic bone to coccyx bone, sit bone to sit bone, anal urethral sphincter squeeze in and pull up. Every exhale, feel the two hip points pull together. Feel pubic bone pull to navel. Feel low ribs pull down to the hip points. Legs pull in, and then bring the legs back together. We can bend both knees, planting the feet flat. Take the hands back behind you. Fingertips point toward the feet. And we're going to take again two vinyasa. Inhale, lift those hips up. Exhale, hips through. Lift your left leg. Left leg down, inhale, lift the hips. Exhale through. Lift your right leg, right foot down, inhale, lift your hips, and now exhale, sit. We did half of a Kurmasana, now we're gonna do full Kurmasana. So take the feet about as wide as your mat, and this is gonna transi transition us into Titivasana, which I feel comfortable doing with you guys, no one's in the studio. We're gonna slowly fold our way forward. Now, we remember at the front of the mat, getting our forearms to the ground. If they won't quite touch, that's okay. That's not our goal. Our goal instead is going to be to take the hands to the ankles, push the elbows down, then slowly reach one arm back behind you, palm face down. Reach the other arm back, palm face down. Now slide the heels forward, but no wider than your mat.
You can flex your toes and try to lift your heels. Heels down. Slowly begin to bend the knees up. Take the hands back to the center. Sit up nice and tall for a second. Give the shoulders a good roll. Some of you may have done this transition from the floor into Tichibasana, into Bakasana before. Some of you may not. Bring your feet back to mat width apart. Take your forearms inside the legs again. But this time we want the elbows inside the knees. So you can take hands to your ankles, get the elbows behind the knees, then hands flat. I'm looking at my hands, they're a little uh, narrower than my shoulders. They will broaden out as you walk the hands back. You are now lifting your legs. On your next exhale, rock into the hands, lift your butt. Try it again. Try it again. And then with your NTT Basana, bend one knee, bend the other, fly it back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Inhale up, exhale down, push up, press back, downward facing dog. Take one breath in, but I have a present for you. One breath out, rock forward and we get to lay down. <sighs> left arm off to the left side. Check the hands in line with the forehead. And just so that you guys know at home, if you ever have a student with elbow discomfort, if you take a hand towel, we'll roll it up, place it beneath the elbow, it will prevent the elbow discomfort and they'll get a nice deeper stretch in the shoulder. All right, roll toward your left arm. Right foot is flat, knee points up. Left foot is flat. Move your hips away from that left arm. Reach the right arm up. Drop the right hand down the low back. Now, if you can, grab that left hand. Grab it from the index side. Make sure your left palm stays face down. And if you can hold that left hand, lift your right leg up. Reach up, grab that right foot and pull the right leg toward your left arm. Now start to let the foot go if you had a bind. Release and roll back onto your abdomen. We're not gonna ask this left arm to do anything other than slide in. <laughs> we gotta go to the other side. So we're gonna take the right arm off to the right side now. Palm is flat. Make sure the palm is flat and you're gonna to roll toward that right arm. Plant the left foot behind you, right foot behind you. Move your hips down and away from that right arm. Left arm reaches up, left hand drops down the back. If you'd like to work on grabbing this right hand, you can grab from the index finger Sign. Chin is uplifted. Left leg will lift. If you did this before, grab the left foot with your left hand, pull it toward your right leg. Release the bind. Roll back onto your abdomen. Hands beneath the shoulder. And then reach the arms out in front of you. Bring those palms together, forehead toward the ground. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. At the beginning of class, we began with humility. We began with respect. We don't lose that as class progresses. We only gain a deeper connection to it. And a deeper connection to the sincerity the sincerity may be something that we talk about abstractly in our day-to-day -day life, but sincerity is the truth you feel within you. It's not honesty, the way we mentate, the way we think with our brain. It's what we feel to be honest and true inside of us. On your next inhale, hands beneath the shoulders, take your time. We'll push up into plank as we're ready and find downward facing dog. Rock forward to plank. Move the left hand beneath your nose side plank, right arm up and over the head. Take a deep breath in. 
We're only lowering down once. This is the last time. Exhale down. Inhale up. Right foot to left hand. Drop both hands. Drop your left knee. And with the right hand on the right knee, we're going to reach that left arm forward and up. Inhale. Push down with your right foot. Roll toward the first knuckle of your right toe. Right hand's on your knee to pull back. Lift the chin, look up. Push down with your left foot. And imagine trying to pull that left foot forward. Inhale up. Take both hands down. Crawl your way to your left foot at the back of the mat. And as soon as you're facing this left leg, we're going to step back into plank. Lower all the way down. Slide the hands back a hand front. Press down to the tops of your feet. Peel the torso away from the ground. Lift the chin, look up. And then we can draw chin slightly forward. Come out of the back bend a little. Bend your left knee. And with your right hand down, reach your left hand back. Grab the ankle of that left foot. Lift the chin up. Push the shin into that left hand. Release the left leg, release the left hand, lower down. Curl the toes under, push up plank. Press back to downward facing dog. Left leg will lift, but here first, I want you to move your, your hands, your feet, your whole body to the left side of your mat. To the left side of your mat. Your right hand and your right foot can remain on the mat, but your left hand and your left foot are not. Lift that left leg up, inhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Now turn the right hand out. Turn it out. And we're going to flip this dog over. We're going to take the left foot down. As the left foot comes down, look at your feet. Square them up first. Push with your feet. Lift with your hips. Reach with that left arm. Go all the way over if you can. If you can't hold what you have, take a deep breath in. Hips continue to lift. On your next exhale, we're actually going to lay down. Lay down. So your feet will be pointing toward the front of the room. Your arms are over your head, fingertips pointing to the back of the room. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. And on your next inhale, let's slowly pull the thighs in toward the torso. Pull the thighs in toward the torso. And we're going to cross our left leg over our right leg. Hook the ankles if we can. Open the arms off to the side. Move your hips to the left. Hips to the left. And then knees will fall to the right. Right hand on left thigh, left shoulder toward the ground. Look over your left shoulder. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Two more. Slowly bring the hips back to center. Keep the legs crossed though. Pull the knees back to center. And I'm gonna work with you from the side here. So we'll take that left arm beneath the right arm, wrap the forearm. Now keep your low back against the ground. Exhale, left elbow to the left knee. Inhale, tap the right toes, tap the shoulders. Low back stays down. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale, down. So four more. Exhale. Inhale. Three. Two. Last one. Inhale. Now exhale, release the arms, pull the thighs in. We're going to rock up to a seat. Rock up to a seat. And we're going to take the legs. I just want you to turn your legs to the right. And we're going to twist to our left. So you should be twisting toward the front of the mat again. Your legs are off on the right side of your mat, and you're twisting toward the front side of your mat. All right. 
Take your right hand, right tricep outside, left thigh, right hand toward the floor on the left side of your body, left hand behind you. And we're gonna work on this transition together, but we're gonna do it with a forearm down, all right? So take a deep breath in, twist a little deeper, exhale. Now, <clears throat> we're gonna take this right hand on the floor, right? Our legs are still bound. If you need to unhook the ankles, you can. Take the right hand to the floor. We're gonna drop the left elbow in line with the right hand. Push with your right foot, lift yourself up onto that right elbow, look forward. Squeeze the legs together and bring left hand, thumb and index finger together. Bring the remaining fingers to your chin. Now left forearm down, extend the legs out, open them out. Right leg on left leg, switch the legs. and step it back. So you may have noticed if you drop the right toes to the ground, then you could actually take that left leg out from underneath behind you. Because what we usually rely on in that transition is a dropping of the opposite hip, right? We didn't have a hip to drop. We were on our forearm. There was no elbow to rest on. So if you took that right foot and just lightly touched the toes, this did not make the transition easy. We're laying down right now, elbows beneath the shoulders, palms flat, fingertips grip the floor, pull the ribs forward, lift the chin, look up, inhale. And release, exhale. Hands out from underneath. We're gonna start with our right arm this time. So take that right arm off to the side, bend the elbow 90 degrees. <clears throat> Check that the elbow is in line with your shoulder. Rest your right ear to the floor. Actually, you guys, let's work on one we haven't done in a while. So move yourself a little to the left of your mat. Take your right arm, same bend, but fingers point toward the back of your mat. Your right palm is face up. And if you were to lift your head and look at your right elbow, it's directly out from your right shoulder. All right, now keep the head lifted. Roll toward that right arm. Plant the left foot behind you. Right foot behind you. Move your hips away from that right arm. Then reach that left arm up and hold your right hand with your left. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. You can kick that left leg up and again, you could hold it. Let it go. Release the foot. Release back onto the torso. And shift yourself to the right side of your mat. And we'll do the opposite arm. So take the left arm off to the left side. Make sure that the elbow is in line with the shoulder. And again, we're gonna roll toward that left arm. Just roll slow, no need to rush. Head is lifted, right foot behind you. Left foot flat. Move your hips away from that left arm. Reach that right arm up. And hold your left hand. Right leg up, hold the right heel, pull. Release the right foot, roll back onto the abdomen. And we'll take the hands just beneath the shoulders and then reach them out in front of us. This is the last time for long prostration but also on the opposite side of this will be Shavasana. So after we repeat to the other side, everything we've done, think of this right here as the beginning of our transition to the end. And this is a beautiful thing. Forehead to the ground, breathing. Feel your forehead supported by the earth beneath you. Feel your breath rise and fall. Try to extend and draw out that breath. Well, hands beneath the shoulders. This is it. Push up to plank. Press back to downward facing dog. Take one breath in. One breath out. 
rock forward to plank. Move the right hand beneath the nose, side plank, left arm up and over the head, deep breath in. One time down, exhale, inhale up, left foot to right hand, drop the right knee down. Left hand to left knee, right arm forward and up, deep breath in. And we're gonna again, roll toward the first knuckle of the big toe on the left foot. With your left hand pull, with your right hand reach, push down to the top of your right foot as if to slide it forward. Inhale up, both hands down, exhale. Lift the right knee, walk your hands to your right foot back in the mat. And we'll step that right leg back into plank and lay all the way down. Exhale. Slide the hands back, a whole handprint. Press down to the tops of the feet and roll towards your big toes. Start to peel the torso from the floor. So push and pull, push and pull. Lift the chin and look up. And we can bring the chin a little forward, keep the left hand on the floor, bend the right knee, reach back, grab that right ankle, flex the toes, push the shin into the right hand, lift the chin, look up. Release the leg, release the hand, lower down. We'll push up to plank, press back to downward facing dog. And we're going to move ourselves to the right side of our mat. So our left foot and our left hand will remain on the mat, but our right hand and our right foot will not. Lift the right leg up, bend the knee, open the hip. Turn that left hand out. And as you turn the left hand out, you're going to start to flip this dog over. Right foot comes down in line with the left foot. Push with your feet, lift with your hips, reach with that right arm. And if you can go all the way, go all the way. So pushing with the feet, lifting with the hips. And we're gonna lower all the way down. All the way down. First things first, legs long on the mat, arms over your head. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Draw low back against the floor, pull the thighs in toward the torso. Take the arms off to the side. Take your right leg over your left. Then move your hips to the right and let your knees fall to the left. Look over your right shoulder, left hand against our right thigh. Inhale back to center. And again, once we're back to center, we're gonna take the arm, cross right arm under left arm, wrap the forearms. Now exhale, right elbow, right knee together. Inhale, tap shoulders and toes down. Exhale up, inhale. Again, exhale up, inhale, four more. Last two, last one. Now release the arms, pull the thighs in, and we'll rock up so you can hold behind the thighs, rock up to that seat. And we're gonna take our legs to the left, take our legs to the left. And then we're gonna twist to our right. So right hand behind you, left tricep outside the right near thigh. Use your fingertips of that left hand to come to the floor and look back over the right shoulder. Now this is it, this is that final push and this is that transition, somewhat awkward transition to get from Garuda with one forearm down back to the mat. So let's take both hands there, fingertips pointing toward the front of the room. And once we have it, we're gonna Take that right elbow down in line with the left hand. Right elbow, left hand. 
push with your left toes, hoist yourself up, squeeze the legs together. Thumb against index fingernail on the right hand, draw the remaining three fingers toward the chin. Then right hand down, unbind the legs. Left leg on right leg, bend the right knee. You can tap the left toes down a little. Right leg slides out, left leg steps back. And come back to sphinx pose again. That's a fun one. I think we're gonna have to work on that one more. Elbows beneath shoulders, palms flat, pull the ribs forward, lift the chin, look up. Exhale. Release it, elbows out to the side, hands beneath the shoulders. Let's press to a hands and knees position. Cross the ankles. And then have a seat. Just have a seat. Find any comfortable seat, any comfortable seat at all. Legs can be crossed as in lotus. Legs can be placed with one heel toward the groin, the other heel directly in front. You can also take one leg and stack it on top of the other, just lightly, ankle on ankle, I should say. Then hands on top of knee, palms face down. Middle fingers, if you can slide your hands out a little bit, middle fingers to the ground, bhumi sparsha. And draw those shoulders back. And let's just first begin with finding the breath at all. So as you inhale, inhale behind the navel, belly expands. Ribs expand through the front, the sides. Feel the back of the ribs expand. Feel the chest lift. And then exhale, you can reverse it as you're ready. Add a little constriction at the throat and create that sound, sound like the ocean. So and hum. Literally the sound of the ocean. Because as the water is pulled back, there is a slight sound of so. And as the water rushes forward with all the bubbles and the turbulence, you can hear that Now, if you want to continue with this gentle breathing, stay with the gentle breathing, especially if you are prone to headaches or high blood pressure or low blood pressure. Today, I want to teach you abdominal bustaka. Abdominal bustaka is our abdominal bellows breath. So you want to inhale with or exhale with force, the entire abdomen contract, inhale with force, the entire abdomen expands, and you do this very quickly or as quickly as you can, but with a little softness behind that because all pranayama should have a softness. So this is how it's going to sound and how it may look for you. We start with the exhale fully. Inhale fully. Then forced exhale. Find your rhythm and begin if you haven't already. Inhale, let it go. Turn your palms face up. Lightly touch thumb and index fingers together. The other three fingers are soft. Feel the subtlety, subtlety between the thumb and index. Chin mudra. And decide. 
You may stay right here, breathing, following, feeling, or you might choose to lie back and take Shavasana. This is up to you. Take what you need and let breath that courses through you be your guide. Bring the awareness back to your breath. Inhaling fully and deeply. Exhaling the same. We can inhale the arms over our head. And if we're seated, we can take the hands to heart center. If we're lying down, pull the thighs in toward the torso. And you can either rock along the spine forward or roll to one side and push up. Let us all come to a comfortable seat with our palms face down on our knees 
and our eyes closed. You can inhale the arms out to the sides and up. Bring the palms together, exhaling the thumbs to our forehead, to our mouth, to our heart. And I'll finalize today with a mantra that I'll just say out loud and you can feel it. You can hear it, you can listen. It's the student teacher mantra. A mantra that we make to one another, to support one another through this practice. Whatever it may hold, whatever tool we may be practicing to use. And we do so with that light within us. We do so with respect, humility, and sincerity. Om Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bunaktu Saha Viryam Karavavahai Tejasvi Navadi Tamastu Ma Vidavishavahai Om Shanti Shanti, Shanti. Namaste.